The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Cheryl's leukemia, and Kareem gets his mother's kidney. Two-year-old Kareem was born with almost no kidneys, and he's been on dialysis since birth. Miriam, his mother, is going to donate her kidney. Today, Kareem and Miriam will have their final tests before the kidney transplant. Is mommy going to do blood work too? Should mommy cry too? Yeah. OK, let's see. We have to go upstairs now. What time is that? It's 8. We're all done blood work. We need to go upstairs for a little bit. And then we're going to go and do an x-ray, OK? Head back just a bit more. Head back. That's it. Good job. Good. Mommy. It's all right. Okay, that's all now. Just you want to put like your that. hands straight? Okay, you can put them like that. Head straight. Your head straight? Yeah. You... It's almost done. I'll get you out as soon as you're done taking your picture, okay? Okay. Uh, ready here. Can you just step out while I take it? All right. Sideways, like that. Okay, almost done. Okay, now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna come out right now. Okay, hold my hands. Hello. It's time to come out. Are you all done being a horsey? Yeah. Okay, yay. Yay! I'm all done. The incision will be under your rib cage. It will be under the 12th rib on the left hand side. Your incision will be probably more painful than your son's uh, just because of the fact that your, the muscle, we cut the muscles that are involved in breathing, and so every time you breathe, it's going to hurt. That'll be lots of fun, I'm sure, you know. <laughs> Um, it's going to be uncomfortable, there's mm -hmm. no question about that. Yeah. Lots and lots of pain medication. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're ready. Five-year-old Cheryl has leukemia. Chemo and radiation treatments have failed her. Her brother Shokri's bone marrow is a good match and will be donated to Cheryl once her own bone marrow has been eradicated. Take good care of you. So you okay? Mm -hmm. Cheryl is left with a severely weakened immune system. The slightest infection can be deadly. She must be in a sterile environment for several weeks. Only her parents can visit. Hopefully, the transplant will graft and create healthy blood cells. Cheryl cannot leave isolation until there are clear signs the grafting has worked. This bone marrow transplant is now Cheryl's only hope for survival. Any questions okay. before we start? Which one? Oh, it's out there. Okay. Okay, Cheryl, we're going to be starting shortly. If you feel funny in any way, you let us know, okay? If she does spike a fever, there's certain procedures that we do. We draw blood from her central line, and we also on occasion might need to poke from her arm. There's a certain course that they follow. Mm -hmm. They get a fever, they don't eat, they get mouth sores, they get diarrhea. Then eventually their counts come up. They're being stimulated in order for her marrow to engraft. Went back to sleep again. He's so tired. Getting in. Getting in. Did they get their medication ready or not? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> 
वो किताब या लो वो किताब दूसरी फोर गो यू वे कब फिर सार तारक फिर Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, then let's get ready to go, Yellow, to dialysis. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head. And shoulder knees. Barney. Yep, there's Barney on TV. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi there. Okay, look who's here. Daddy's here. He's a show kid. Say hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi. My dad. How you doing, bud? My daddy is here. Daddy. Yes. So everything is okay and on schedule. Yep, everything so far is so good. Lots and lots of blood work this morning. Yeah. That was even cream said, "Okay, cry, mommy." Did you tell me that? No, you didn't. Did mommy cry when she did blood work? Yeah. No, why did? Mommy cry. Okay, Cheryl, we are going to be finished. You will hear a beep and that'll be it. You have received your brother's bone marrow. Feel different? Hey, you might even talk like your brother. What do you think? No? No way. There you go, my dear. You are now finished. The hard part's over yeah. now. We got the marrow. Okay. Open it. Let's so, hope and wait. Yes, exactly. We can just yeah. wish and hope and we wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. A child that's developing and progressing with chronic kidney failure has the potential to not develop mentally to their capacity. And, and that's a credit to all the people that worked here is the fact that they were able to carry him through with all the dialysis, etc. And medical therapies, they were able to bring him to a level where he's comparable to any other two-year-old. Yeah. He had almost no kidneys at all. There are advantages to being off dialysis and to have a functioning kidney are great advantages. But there's also a lot of risk. And the one we dread the most is when we have a living related transplant, that is one of the parents has made the sacrifice of undergoing surgery to donate one of their kidneys, and we have an unsuccessful outcome. And we don't like to talk about that, but we have to talk about that because we sort of not only need you to understand that A, it could happen, but B, is challenge you to think, how are you going to deal with it if it happens? It, it's not really our place to, to be miserable and w worried about things that we, um, we don't have or things that we can't do. Um, it's best to just enjoy what we can do and uh, what we do have. And, and I think that's, that's going to help a lot. It helped us a lot throughout the process, uh, throughout the past two and a half years. Um, and I think it will help us through any adversity that we'll, we'll come through. I mean, I don't think it's anything we can dwell on. You know, if it doesn't go, it, if it doesn't go the way we want it to and it does reject or, you know, we'll just be back to where we were, you know back at dialysis and until sort of the next step happens. 
you know? Well, rejection is even, um, you sort of, you're shocked initially when it happens the first time, and it almost always happens. But rejection is manageable. Most of the time we can get rid of acute rejection and maybe have to deal with chronic rejection, which takes months and years. In the operating room, the time of removing the clamps, the unclamped time, is probably the most stressful time in the whole process. Because within a period of minutes, you know, you know, the kidney pinks up and firms up and looks healthy, everybody's celebrating. Whereas a kidney that stays floppy, soft, remains bluish, you feel your coronaries going into spasm. It happens in less than 10% of the time, but it happens. Yeah, so the fevers that she's getting are pretty normal for being like seven days after transplant and until her counts start coming up and maybe a while before the fevers go away. Yeah, I hope it goes away soon. Yeah. Yeah. Please? Yeah. We'll just take it and that's it. And you guys be quiet. Okay, we will be quiet, but just take it. Please? If she still has a fever and they can't figure out what's growing in the cultures, then they'll, they'll probably start on amphotericin, which is a drug, that, the other drug that Angeli was talking about today. Yeah, so this is pretty typical, what we see in the kids. And until she gets, fevers go away and the counts start coming back, then she'll be like this for a little while. Can we take the medicine now, baby? You rested for a long time now. Come on, please. Show sure, me what you can do, Cheryl. I'm going to leave them. Will you take it if I leave? Okay. Promise? Okay. Good. I'm getting okay. out of here. Come on, baby. You're a good girl. I know you are. Everything will be okay, baby. Everything will be okay. Good girl. You want me to keep it here? A surprise for daddy? Are you still coloring your feet? Yeah, I'm still coloring. Anything to get you from stocking to cry, right? <laughs> You're all done at dialysis, yeah? Dialysis yep. is finished. I'm going to say my goodbye now because I know you'll go back over to the floor <laughs> and everything. I'm okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't start me. I'm trying. I'll come and see you both Friday. And okay. you're incredible. Mommy, I colored on this. Mommy's going to color in a minute. Mommy's just happy. Maybe we could borrow this and then we'll bring it back to dialysis. How does that sound? Can we take it with us to your room and you can play it in your room? Yeah. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Say bye, Makesh. Thanks. Hello, what are we doing? Playing go fish. Okay, so her white count this morning is um, 1.7. Wow. Big jump from yesterday. Yeah, yeah it is a very yeah. big jump since, you know, the last week or so. Things are going well, and, you know, hopefully by then, and then as long as she continues to eat, like probably in a week or two, she can go home. Oh, this would be great. Yeah. Caroline is going home She's today. Yeah. Kitchen. Yeah, see the, do you see her, sweetie? Say hi, she say hi to you. Caroline, she's going home. Hopefully, tomorrow or after, you'll do the same, honey. Yeah, she has to say hi, yeah. Oh, I just hope that she maintains this count so she can come outside. We'll keep our fingers crossed. OK.
Okay. Aww, okay. <laughs> You're too sweet. Thank you. <laughs> well, these people made made us get this far. So, without you guys, we wouldn't be where we are. You know. <laughs> well, I don't know. We were just talking about that. I'm not sure whether he realized it. I mean, keep telling me he's going into the hospital. Okay. He's like going to six A. He's kind of, you know, he, he keeps asking when he's going to six A and. He's been running around yelling, you know, I'm getting a new kidney, I'm getting a new oh, kidney, awesome. but I don't think he really understands what it is, you know, that he's getting, exactly, you <laughs> know. So, um, we'll see. Wow, that's amazing. and they want you guys just to go down because the virologist is there to do his scraping. Yeah, so, but he said as soon as that's done, you guys can come right back up again, okay? Where is your ivy? I can't hear you when you're drinking milk and talking to me. Here it is. <gasps> is it hiding? There it is. So what are you going to do tomorrow? A bath. You're going to have a bath tomorrow? And then what? Are we going to go upstairs to the operating room? Yeah? And we're going to have an operation? Maybe. Maybe? And what are you going to get? Are you going to get a new what? New kidney. You're going to get a new kidney, that's right. Will you be okay? Yeah. Yeah. The question is you. Why won't I be okay? I don't know. I'm not going to get lopsided or anything because I only have one kidney. <laughs> so you're looking forward to days without dialysis? I guess. Trip? Yes and no. I was telling them I think I'm going to miss this in a really strange way for all the wrong reasons, but I mean it's become part of our life. Strangely enough, we've actually been able to make it part of our life. And <sighs> yeah, so just a happy update that this was really a good transplant, a simple transplant we should call it. Yeah, <laughs> so so far so good, not major problems. I'm looking at discharge on Monday. Monday? Yes. Okay. All right. Sanitary. They will do the cytogenetic studies to check that she has a donor entrapment. Okay. All right? Okay. Oh no, don't say a word. No, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> you can dance. Yeah, yeah. You're going to go home Monday? Cheryl's bone marrow transplant is successful. She can go home where she must remain for six months until her blood counts fully stabilize. Only then can she return to senior kindergarten. You're welcome. Bye bye. I hope we come here just for a visit. Just a visit, yes. That's, that's all you want to be here for is a visit. Be good, Cheryl. Okay. Margaret, we'll go down there. This is the best way. Kareem, which way will we go? He'll tell us which you way tell we us go. Where. We'll go this way? Awesome. Mommy's here. Mommy's going to come with you. I'm coming with you. I'll be the whole chat. Would that be okay?
scary walking into your own cage. It sure is. It's a totally different experience. <laughs> okay. Watch it. Put them back. Okay. This is just something to start making you feel a little bit happier about it all, okay? A little cocktail. <laughs> Some pleasant dreams. On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Kareem's new kidney and Robert's cranial reconstruction.